What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for the sign of Taurus. This could resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, Moon, Heaven, or Jupiter charts. Stuff for the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave rest. Uh, it's mid-May of 2022's Oracle card reading for Sign of Taurus. This could resonate if you have Taurus any aspects of your charts, but if um, you only take the messages that resonate, one may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. If it um, Don't force it if it don't fit. Just say to say it. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,590 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. It helps support a single mama, one of her income streams. So single mama, two kids. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display your name for privacy and confidentiality purposes if you decide to donate. Love you guys so much. Okay, so I received a channeling for the Sonic Forest uh, for mid-May of 2022, so I'm going to deliver it. Um, only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. It's very important. Okay, so the channeling I received was um, a very significant, serious motor vehicle accident coming up. It's going to be very significant in Taurus's life. I heard involving some involving a Pisces, some involving a Capricorn, some involving a Virgo. I think that let me, let me I think that's it. Pisces, Virgo, and um, uh, Capricorn. Make sure I didn't leave out any signs. Yeah, Pisces, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, very serious motor vehicle accident. It sounds like upcoming soon in the universe. It's about to become very significant in your life, Taurus. It sounds like um, for some of these motor vehicle accidents, it's involving a Pisces, some a Capricorn, some a Virgo. So um, it, it doesn't sound like it's you going to be in this, um, you in this motor vehicle accident. I'm not feeling it is for a lot of you guys. For some, it may be. But for a majority of you guys, I feel it's somebody you're connected to. Uh, but somehow it's going to affect your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but I heard Pisces, Capricorn, and Virgo. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, however that resonates. But it's a very serious motor vehicle accident. I'll tell you that, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have signed for us. Share messages you have signed for us. Spirit messages you have signed for us. Goodness almighty, whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I don't know if y'all saw that. The cars just went flying everywhere. Holy crap, hold on. And I'm not cutting it out because everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason.
There was many complaints in the past. Some on a Taurus, some coming into a Taurus. However, this time it's about to be tenfold. Many, 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 many more complaints. On a diff on different people this time and many of them. There's about to be a lot of gossip, a lot of loud gossip soon. People connected to this loud gossip are about to get huge wake up calls and they're about to call in to a specific number and complain. For some Tauruses, you are a manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, and you will get these complaints. For some Tauruses, they will be on you, and you will be completely shocked. It is about to shock the hell out of you. Oh my gosh, so you plug it in, how it resonates. And I do remember one of the readings where there was complaint energy. Hold on a second, there's still cards on the floor. Um, I remember a reading, I think it was Taurus's reading, a couple readings ago where there was going to be complaints coming in some um, on certain people. Um, this time I heard it's di different people. So it's not the same people that for the last time it doesn't sound like. It sounds like it's different people. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. But it sounds like it's going to be because there's some kind of gossip that's about to heavy, heavy gossip. Loud, I heard. Loud, heavy gossip that's about to occur. And it's about to um, prompt these complaints. Um, and it's about to be on different people this time. Some of them on a Taurus, some on somebody somebody you're connected to, Taurus, if this um, resonates for you. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. People are getting huge, huge, huge wake-up calls. Huge. And one of these Tauruses has a wonderful reputation in the past, but people are getting a huge wake-up call. False mask. Gloves are about to come off. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. And I heard one of these Tauruses has a huge, uh, has a wonderful reputation of the past, but people are getting a huge wake-up call. Um, I think it's because of this loud gossip and chatter. Um, and, um, it's, it's going to prompt them to, I heard call in, call in and complain. So they're going to call into some kind of number to complain. It sounds like one on a Taurus that has a wonderful reputation, um, in some shape, form or fashion in the past, um, some on several other people, but it sounds like new, uh, new people, people that I guess they haven't been complained on in the past. And it sounds like a lot of them. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of at least one of you guys. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Confirmation from my intuitive kid. Uh, no, fat boy. Come on, buddy. Spirit messages you have for the collective. Um, and it sounds like a lot of complaints this time, like a plethora of them. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Some, But it's involving some kind of loud um, gossip. Loud gossip that's about to occur uh, somewhere. It sounds like it's in a public place. It sounds like it's in a public place where this loud gossip is going to occur. Um, is exactly what it sounds like. Spirit messages you have for this. Some in a hospital, some in a waiting room, some in a restaurant. But going to locate the number to call. Some in a um, waiting room, some in a hospital, some in a restaurant, but going to locate the number to call is what I heard. This number is about to become very, very significant for some kind of complaint energy. But it sounds just like this loud gossip and chatter about 
person, people, place, family, or situation uh, is about to occur. Some in a hospital setting, it sounds like. Some in a waiting room setting. Some in a, um, some in a, uh, uh, what was the, uh, restaurant setting. And I heard it's going to prompt someone to find this phone number. Um, it sounds like to a corporate entity agency is what it sounds like. Um, and call. So you plug it in how it resonates. Bullying, harassment, gossip, drama. Unpro unprofessionalism. Bullying, harassment, gossip, drama, and unprofessionalism is what I heard. Bullying, gossip, drama, and unprofessionalism is what I heard. So I think these people are about to call in because of uh, bullying, gossip, drama, and unprofessionalism. But you, you know, only you know your story, not anybody else. But it sounds like one of you guys is about to be connected to this in some shape, form, or fashion. You plug it in, how it resonates, Taurus. Spirit messages you have signed Taurus. A particular Taurus's partner is about to break it off with them. The entire relationship. It is about to shock the hell out of them. Some dating, some fiance. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. A particular Taurus's um, partner, I heard, is about to completely cut it off with you, if that resonates for you, Taurus. Um, I heard some, it's your fiancé, some, it's your um, uh, significant other. Like, it sounds like your girlfriend or your boyfriend. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Only you know your story, not anybody else, Taurus. Heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So um, I feel for some, you've probably been with this person for a while uh, or you never thought they would break up with you in some shape, form, or fashion, but it sounds like they're about to. For some, it's your fiance. For some, I feel it's your girlfriend or boyfriend. But to be honest with you, Taurus, if they break up with you and they go, I mean, if they break up with you, they break up with you, then, you know, there's greener pastures elsewhere. If anybody needs to hear that, I mean, I hope nobody gets all tore up about this crap. I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I heard some it's your fiance, some it's your, um, your partner, like your girlfriend or your boyfriend, like a dating partner. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have to Taurus. A Taurus and a Scorpio is about to get into a huge, huge, huge argument, verbal argument. But no, this Scorpio is not playing around. They're on the right side of things this time. And they're not messing around with you. For a low vibrational Taurus. Oh, my Lord. So, if that resonates, that's for a low vibrational Taurus. I heard uh, there's a Scorpio and a Scorpio you're about to get into an argument with, a masculine or femme Scorpio. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hand, Jupiter charts. But I heard it's about to be a very, sounds like heated verbal altercation. But I heard basically um, they're on the right side of things this time. It sounds like this uh, verbal altercation has not um, occurred yet in the universe, but it sounds like it's about to. Um, and I heard basically, it sounds like they're going to be in the right on this. Um, cause I heard, um, they're high vibrational this time. I heard they're on the right side of things. They're high vibrational. So they're running in a very high vibration or they're going to be when they have this argument with you. And I heard, um, um, they're basically, it sounds like they're going to be in the right. You're going to be arguing with a high vibrational Scorpio. Now they might've been low vibrational in the past, but it sounds like whatever in the world y'all are about to be arguing about very loudly. Um, and very verbally, um, it sounds like they, they're going to be in the right. And I heard it specifically for a low vibrational tourist. So maybe it's just for one low vibrational tourist out there in the universe. I'm not sure. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But Scorpionic energy, it sounds like you're going to have this argument with low vibrational tourists. 
They could have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you, Taurus. Number 50 or 13 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 50 or 13 or 15 and 23. 50, 13, 15 or 23, it could be possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible jersey number, possible um, social security card number, possible green card number, etc., etc., etc. 50, 13, 15, 23. There's about to be huge shifts in a particular Taurus's workspace soon. Huge shifts and huge changes. A lot of Tauruses are not going to like these changes. Some Tauruses, you're going to, after these changes, you're going to decide to completely leave the company. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of huge change energy shift, it sounds like, in a workspace situation upcoming in your life, your Taurus, if this resonates for you. It's specifically in a workspace situation, if this resonates for you. Um, I heard for most of you guys, you're not going to like these changes. I, it sounds like they're huge changes. I mean, not baby changes. Huge changes. It probably sounds like with people, with places, with situations, with policies, with procedures, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Heard you're not going to like them. I heard for some, you're going to take action. You're just going to leave the company. So you are going to take the wheel in your own hand. You're just going to leave for some. For some, it doesn't sound like you're going to leave, um, but you're not going to like them. So however that resonates um, in one's life, it sounds like it's specifically going to affect you in the workplace um, because of all these huge changes. Come on, fat boy. Confirmation from fat boy. He keeps going off and he hasn't done this all day. Come on. Come on. Well, he did do a little bit earlier, but not much. But I get on here to do Taurus's reading and he's going off. Okay. So we have Rhino Spirit, Overcome Obstacles, Cat Spirit, Claim Your Independence, Horse, Short Journey, Hand, In Need of Help, Assistance, and Guidance, Dog, Close Up, Pleasure with a Close Friend, Playfulness, Generosity. A particular workplace situation involving assault of one co-worker to another co-worker is about to extremely embarrass a Taurus. Extremely em embarrass them, mortify them. Okay, I heard uh, a particular um, incident involving assault of one co-worker to another co-worker is about to extremely basically embarrass the crap out of you um taurus extremely embarrass you so um it doesn't sound like it's you that's um has been assaulted or will be assaulted however that applies in one's life sounds like it's somebody else it sounds like it's a co-worker to another co-worker and you're kind of on the outskirts watching or the outskirts hearing about it or the outskirts looking in how that resonates, Taurus. Uh, but her's going to extremely embarrass you. So I, I don't know why it's going to embarrass you. Uh, maybe, maybe you thought, maybe you were talking so badly about the person that got assaulted or talking badly down upon the person that got assaulted or, or talking badly about the situation or something. And then somebody ends up getting assaulted. Now they could be, assault can be assault with an object. The coworker, with an object to the other co-worker or it could be body parts they assaulted the person with like with their hands or feet or another body part physically onto the co-worker or it could have been object they assaulted them with with the to another co-worker or it could have been verbal assault uh how or a combination of one or two plus of those things how that resonates but it doesn't sound like it's going to be you that's going to be assaulted or that has been assaulted it sounds like it is is altercation involving two co-workers in your workspace in some shape form or fashion that this has occurred i heard it's going to extremely embarrass you sounds like you've already heard about it or you're about to however that resonates in what's life for us um you could be dealing with um 
oh, you have heavy earth sign energy in here. So you could be dealing with, um, I feel like for some, you're heavily dealing with um, earth signs in here, heavily. Because you um, you have double earth sign energy in here. Um, so other earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energies. For some, I feel you strongly could be dealing with two plus other um, earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgos. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Midheaven, or Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Taurus. Overcoming obstacles. This could be the workplace situation. Somebody's workplace is about to go up in flames is what I feel like here. And I'm serious about that. I mean flames. Like dumpster fire flames is what I'm feeling. Overcome, overcoming obstacles. And this also could be that motor vehicle, serious motor vehicle accident. That's, um, I heard, uh, what was it? Pisces, Capricorn, and Virgo. There is about to be a huge, huge, huge investment lost. Huge. Some is someone connected to a Taurus. Some, a Taurus lost a huge investment in the past. Illegal business. But someone connected to you soon is about to lose a huge, huge, huge investment. Huge. Air sign energy. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So it sounds like if this resonates for you, it doesn't sound like you're about to lose this huge investment, um, um, whoever you are. So, I mean, for some of you guys, it sounds like you lost huge, huge investments in the past. But upcoming for this particular message, it doesn't sound like it's you. It sounds like it's air sign that's about to lose a huge, huge, huge investment. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the mid energy for charts. Um, but I heard a huge investment, but it's regarding, for some of these air signs, it's regarding some kind of illegal business, um, either of the past or current, however that plugs in one's life. But um, it doesn't sound like it's you. It sounds like you, some of you guys have lost huge investments in the past, um, but upcoming for this message, it's an air sign about to lose a huge, huge investment. It sounds like an air sign you're connected to. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Um, whoever this air sign is, it, uh, you're connected to. And that could be the overcoming obstacles. Maybe they're going to come to you and ask you for money. Maybe they're going to try to mooch off you. Maybe they're going to try to um, um, borrow money or manipulate you for money. Um, I think this overcoming obstacles for you, Taurus, is you trying to nicely and gracefully back away from this person and situation because you know they're going to come ask you for money. It's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, mask or femme. They could have Gemini, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midham, or Jupiter charts. But I heard a um, huge investment lost, huge. For some of them, I feel like they've already just recently lost it and they're going to come ask you for money. For some, I feel they're about to lose it and then they're, they're going to come ask you for money. Cat spirit, claim your independence. Let's see if I hear anything else with this one. This also could be the breakup energy too, Taurus, for some of you guys. Um, your partner, some fiance, some uh, dating partner going to break up with you. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Claim your independence. And this could be the breakup energy too. Overcoming obstacles from the breakup to claim your independence. Y'all know I promote independence on here. Straight up. All the time. Bar none. Claim your independence. And this also could be the argument with that Scorpio. The high vibrational Scorpio. I heard they're in the right. So, um, claiming your independence with, um, I mean, not claiming your independence. Overcoming obstacles because I think maybe intuitively you know they're, they're right. And you don't want to admit they are. Uh, Tauruses are very, very, very stubborn. So um, 
Stereotypically, you're very stubborn, but most of the Tauruses I've interacted with in the 3D world, they have been, they're stubborn, just for real. Claim your independence. A significant student loan is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life. And a very moochy child is about to come ask you for money. For some, it's an adult child. For some, it's a teenager child. Okay, I heard a very significant student loan is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. And for some of you guys, it sounds like your adult child or children is going to come ask you for money. I heard they're very moochy. And for some, it's a uh, teenager or teenager child. I feel they're your, your ch children, Taurus, about to come ask you for money. So claim your independence from these moochy people. For some, it's um, teenager, moochy teenagers. For some, it's moochy adult children. Uh, I feel it's yours, or it could be some children you're connected to. Um, but they're going to come asking you for money, whoever this is for and how that resonates. For some of you guys, significant student loans about to become very significant. So I feel they're... Um, dragging you under that's a huge probably a huge bill you have to pay or is paying um how that resonates horse short journey A Taurus is about to find out about someone that has a hidden camera in their home. 30 and below individual. They do not live far from you. Are you going to choose to help them or not? Oh my Lord. You hidden camera energy, Jesus. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so for whoever this resonates with, you're about to find out. I heard it. Uh, somebody you're connected to that apparently don't live far from you short journey here um i feel they don't live far physical locations from you i heard you're about to find out they have a hidden camera in their home i heard are you going to help them or not so i mean i don't know question for us burning question everybody wants to know are you going to help them or not if that resonates for you but it's uh, someone that doesn't live far from you. They live a short journey, short distance from you. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It's about to, you're about to find out they have a hidden camera in their home. Now, how you're going to find out, I don't know if Bobby Ray down the street comes, runs down, telling you, oh my God, um, they've got blah, blah, blah on the dark web. Um, or maybe one of their family members run down the street freaking out i mean i don't know but somehow somebody's about to find out somebody's got a hidden camera in their house but it doesn't sound like you're down there when um it doesn't sound like you're actually in the physical home when you find this out it sounds like you're about to find it out from somebody else or you're about to get gain a location and access to the dark web energy so i heard the burning question are you going to help them or not so i feel one of you guys is going to gain access to this um dark web somebody sent them up on dark web and that's how you found out there's a hidden camera in there i heard are you going to help them they're 30 or below so only you know your story not anybody else taurus Short shorts are about to become significant in a Taurus's life soon. I heard short shorts are about to become significant in a Taurus's life soon. So the short journey, I think, is the shorty shorts. The Daisy Dukes. Uh, are you wearing the Daisy Dukes, Taurus? Or is somebody connected to you about to wear the Daisy Dukes? Are you maybe you're going to be admiring somebody with a big booty in the Daisy Dukes? I don't know. Oh, you know your story, not anybody else. But some kind of Daisy Duke energy about to become significant. Just saying, just saying.
in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Public assistance is about to become significant in a tourist's life, and abuse of public assistance is about to become significant in a tourist's life. Okay. Her public assistance is about to become significant in a tourist's life, and abuse of public assistance is about to become significant in a tourist's life. So I feel for some of you guys, um, it could be you about to get public assistance, um, or somebody you're connected to about to get public assistance. Um, if that resonates for some and the other spectrum, I feel for some, you might be abusing public assistance currently, or someone you're connected to is abusing public assistance, how that resonates. Uh, but in this aspect, this is the public assistance energy, whether you're about to get public assistance or someone you're connected to is about to get public assistance, or you're abusing public assistance or someone you're connected to is abusing public assistance, how that resonates in one's life. A case management position is about to become significant in a tourist's life as well. And a case management position is about to become very significant in a tourist's life as well. So case management position, case managers help people. They help people. I love, I've always wanted to be a case manager. Always, always, always has been one of my dreams. Since uh, back when I worked at Encompass Health Rehabilitation Hospital in Huntsville, Alabama from 2017, 2018. I've always wanted to become one. Um, I think they're wonderful and they really help people in many different ways. So maybe one of you guys, uh, maybe you work in the healthcare sector and you're qualified enough to um, apply for a case management position or someone you're connected to is about to get referred for a case management position or you're about to get referred for a case management position or um, something of that nature. Some kind of case management position, whether you want to be a case manager or someone you're connected to wants to be or gets referred for the position or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or you get referred for the position or something like that. In this um, situation, it's case management. Dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. A friends with benefits situation with the Pisces is about to become very, very, very significant in a particular Taurus's life after breakup energy. Okay, Taurus. Oh, okay. I heard a particular friends with benefits situation is about to become very significant in a Taurus's life after a breakup situation. So whoever this is resonating with, I think you might be the one that's about to get broke um the one that's about to the relationship's about to end in the fiance area or the boyfriend girlfriend area if that resonates for us um that's exactly what i feel um i heard a but you have a friend you have a friend and they're pisces they could be a masculine or feminine pisces uh they could have pisces in their sun moon rising venus or they may have a jupiter charge you're obviously physically attracted to them or sexually attracted to them or both I mean, physically and sexually, that goes hand in hand, just saying. Um, but I heard a friends with benefits situation is about to become very significant with Pisces soon after a uh, the breakup. So I think after the fiance breaking, breaking it off thing or the girlfriend, boyfriend breaking it off thing, you're about to link up with this Pisces you're very friendly with and do more things than friends do. Just saying, just saying to us. I think this is your Pisces energy. Uh, pleasure with a close friend, i.e. FWB, baby. Just saying, just saying. Playfulness. Okay, yep. It's all it's all in the cards and messages in here. Break up, fiance situation next. Break up, girlfriend, boyfriend situation next. Piscean energy. Coming in the mix, baby, with some playfulness, with some FWB. But obviously, it's going to be very, very, very 
no labels on it, very fun, very no strings attached. It's all over the place up in here. And in Pisces reading, I heard for a Taurus is about to, a Taurus from your their past is about to become very significant in their life. I didn't hear spe specifics on that, but for one of the the Pisces, I feel it's you getting up in the pants. Literally, is what I feel. Holy crap! Because you're, I think you're going to want to lick your wounds after this breakup, or that's what I feel for some of you guys. I feel you're going to feel sorry for yourself. Or you're just going to feel free. You're either going to feel sorry for yourself and you want some booty, like some nookie nookie after the breakup. I mean, some people do, some people don't. Um, I don't judge. Um, or you're just going to feel free and you just want some booty. How oh, that resonates. But it's from this Pisces. But I think you know it's going to be easy to get it from this Pisces too, in all fairness. I really, really do. Because I think that's why you're about to specifically contact them and let them know your woes and sorrows because I think you know you're going to, it's going to be easy to get in with them. I think you know they they do FWB friends with benefits, no strings attached, that they're easy to get into one's pants. I mean, I'm not trying to be crass, but I'm being serious. Playfulness. The laughter of a child is about to become very significant for a particular Taurus soon. That's a good one. I heard the laughter of a child is about to become very significant in Taurus's life soon. So the laughter of a child, it could be your child or somebody you're connected to's child, but the laughter of a child is about to become, I think it's going to make you feel better, make warm your heart. It's, I think it's going to um, make you feel good in some shape, form, or fashion. So playfulness energy, um, I think this is the laughter of the child energy. That's really great for us. And a Taurus, a long distance of a fire sign femme, a long distance of a fire sign femme, is about to put their name in the hat. Reference for a great position they know they will be wonderful at. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So I heard a Taurus, a uh, great long distance from a uh, fire sign femme, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, feminine energy. This could be you, Taurus, or another Taurus you're connected to. I heard uh, they're about to put a this fire sign femme's name in a hat for a reference for a wonderful position they know they'd be great at. So this could be you or another Taurus you're connected to, but it's somebody that knows this fire sign femme's worth. Um, they know their worth, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, but they live a long, far distance from this fire sign theme is what it sounds like. And I heard they're about to put, basically, um, put the fire sign theme's name in a hat and reference them for this position. Um, they know they'd be great at it. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's great. New playground equipment. At one particular site, a Taurus is about to be integral in helping acquire this playground equipment and organizing it. Wow, I heard playground equipment at one particular site. A Taurus is about to become integral in acquiring the equipment and organizing. So I think organizing the people to come and put the, the playground equipment together. I think it's in a community open space public area. And playfulness in this aspect is the playground equipment. Kids, local community kids can come and play on this playground equipment. That's beautiful, Taurus, if that resonates for you. Giving back to your community. I'm so freaking lovely, man. If I was a millionaire or a billionaire, which one of these days I will be, just saying, just saying. Um, not right now, but I have plans, baby, just saying. Um, 
that's one of my plans. Um, giving back to the community. Absolutely. Generosity. A particular false police report in the past is about to become very significant. A tourist knows of a false police report filed by some by Gemini, some by Piscean, some by Cancer. They're about to bring these to the forefront and the light. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Heard a particular tourist knows of some false police reports of the past. I heard some followed by Gemini, some by Pisces, some by Cancer. But I heard there about um, this Taurus, this could be you or somebody you're connected to, you're about to bring them to the forefront. So I think you're about to do somebody a favor um, or do the community a favor for these. They sound like menaces to society. I mean, why are you going around filing false police reports? Just saying, just saying. I mean, that's not cool. That's not cool. That's not cool. So I, I feel like menace to society energy. I didn't hear they were, but they, they're they obviously doing negative things in the universe for strategic reasons. Whoever this Pisces, um, Cancer, or Gemini are, they have Pisces, Cancer, or Gemini, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. But I think you're about to do the world a favor and bring this to the forefront is what I feel here. Um, false police report energy. Um, I think you might work for the law enforcement community, um, Taurus. That's exactly what I think. I think you might work for the law enforcement community um, or maybe in the legal sector, how that resonates. But I think you're about to be generous to the society, to the universe is what I feel. And a very particular donation is about to become very significant. Some a Taurus is about to give it. Some a Taurus is about to receive it. Okay, and I heard a very particular donation is about to become significant. Uh, for some of Taurus is about to receive it. For some of Taurus is about to give it. So generation uh, generosity in this aspect is the donation energy, whether you're about to give or receive it. For some, it could be both. You're about to give and receive it. So you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.